Yeah. yeah. Recently, there have been some uh, studies or some theories regarding the pathogenesis of this COVID-19. That initially it was thought that it is pneumonia, but now it is more of uh, stress is being uh, put on immunological damage and uh, that the COVID-19 also binds with the hemoglobin, displaces iron, which leads to free iron radical leading to oxidative damage. So what is your opinion regarding this pathogenesis? So, okay, I have a question. I, I will answer this question. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, uh, our, our immune system uh, will react every pathogen that in, enter our body, it, it's such as virus and uh, bacteria, bacteria and uh, other pathogens. Uh, usually, when the uh, virus, uh, including uh, uh, 2019 uh, COVID virus, uh, when they when they enter our, our body and uh, they will uh, initiate uh, our our immune responses. Uh, and uh, uh, if the immune response is very strong, uh, sometimes uh, they will cause uh, inflammatory inflammatory uh, factors such as interleukin six, uh, interleukin uh, interleukin one and uh, other uh, cytokines uh, to, uh, to elevate, elevate uh, to a very high level and, uh, and cause cytokine storm. And this way to harm to our body. Uh, uh, sometimes they will cause uh, many organs uh, dysfunctions, uh, including uh, the most, uh, the most uh, uh, common infected uh, influenced uh, uh, organ is lung and the other organs uh, such as uh, liver uh, and uh, uh, kidney and the uh, heart they will be uh, may also be influenced and uh, and uh, uh, injury uh, mm -hmm. so uh, i think uh, 20 lighty and co virus uh, may will show uh, will cause uh, uh, the immune response immune responses and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, if the immune response is, uh, is normal and uh, not very high, and the people were okay. Uh, that's my answer. And what about... Uh, as we what about just the theory uh, that, uh, that the sorry, virus... Maybe, uh, maybe, is... uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Allen, maybe our uh, doc Dr. Lu has also something to add, so... Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, uh, because we just uh, uh, see some patients in our ICU in Wuhan, some patients, especially the non-survival patients, the, the, the blood dimmer is higher than the uh, survivor patients. It's, uh, have, uh, it's the same result in, uh, I think, is a study in Lancet just published recently. Uh, the uh, the study on the some patients uh, in Wuhan. It's there is two hundred patients. The the sub, uh, non survivor patients have the higher DDM level than in the uh, survivor patients. It's uh, it's very uh, special uh, t test for for these these patients. I think. Thank you. 